Welcome to The Real Review, produced by River Street Productions. I'm your host, Ben Farmer. This week, we are changing things up since it's Labor Day weekend, so let's roll. On this week's show, we are taking a break from reviews and talking more about what movies I'm excited to see and what would make a great addition to your Labor Day weekend. Now, I am making these recommendations strictly based on what I've seen in the trailers and critic reviews, and you know how much I distrust critic reviews. So if you see any of these movies this weekend, please let me know what you think on Twitter at Ben's Real Review, as always. So let's get right to it. The first movie I'm going to recommend for you guys to see this weekend is Nerve. I really love the trailer for this movie because, in my mind, this could actually happen today. It's not some far-off possibility, and that's what makes it kind of scary because the idea of kids doing whatever anyone dares them to over social media is a very real idea, and I applaud those filmmakers for coming up with this idea. Let me know if you do go see this. Let me know what you think, and... I'll be sure to see it very soon. Next up is Don't Breathe, and like I said last time, I'm still very interested in seeing this film simply because it's a reverse home invasion film. And what I mean by that is instead of, a, of the house of the victim being invaded, the tables turn and the invaders become the victims. This is what I'm hearing, really. Uh, I haven't seen it yet, but as I said before, I'm really excited and this probably won't be a movie to take your kids to see, considering it is a horror movie. But any horror fans from what I've read so far are just going to love this movie and really, really enjoy it. A movie you can definitely take your kids to see this Labor Day weekend would be Kubo and the Two Strings. This stop-motion animation-style film had a very interesting trailer and a very diverse cast. There's Matthew McConaughey, there's a couple others in there. I can't remember them all, but Matthew McConaughey really stuck out to me. And uh, I saw the behind the scenes look at how they did a particular scene, and whether it's claymation or stop motion or any animation for that matter, it takes a lot of time and a lot of skill. So I really appreciate the level of dedication that these filmmakers and artists have in order to produce these types of movies. It just, it blows me away every time I see something like this. Moving right along with the news for the week, we have a bunch of rumors that have started going around and a few updates to talk about, so let's get right to it. Beloved actor Gene Wilder passed away on the 29th of August. You may remember him as Willy Wonka in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Gene was also very well known for his comedic roles throughout his career. One especially was Blazing Saddles, someone I can remember. But you can look at all the behind-the-scenes features of any of these movies, and you can always see Gene making people laugh or laughing himself. It's just, he's one of those actors that you wanted to be around and was just a, a very talented person as far as comedy goes, and he will be greatly missed. The first rumor I really want to talk about today is that Warner Brothers was thinking about doing a trilogy for the new Harry Potter and the Cursed Child book that came out not too long ago. This, however, was squashed yesterday by Warner Brothers themselves, and they said that this would not be happening, so I hope that they will live up to that and not try to turn it into a trilogy. In other news, a sequel to Passion of the Christ is in the works with Mel Gibson returning to direct. The writer of the film said that he was currently working on the script for the director. So we'll see what happens there. It shouldn't be a release that we expect within the next year or so, but maybe in the next two years we might see something about it again, so stay tuned. That's all the rumors I have for us today, so here's what's coming soon. There are a couple movies that have just been announced that I'm really excited to see. One is called The Arrival, starring Amy Adams, and it looks pretty interesting from the trailer, so we will see how that turns out when it releases in November. It's an alien invasion type of movie, but I didn't see a lot of invasion. It was more of just like, why are they here? And that's kind of the tagline for the movie, why are they here? Next up is a movie called Morgan, which is an artificial intelligence horror film. And what's really interesting about this, the first trailer they released was actually made by IBM's computer, Watson, which is pretty cool. They gave it all the footage and it analyzed the entire movie and then spit out this trailer. Of course, they had an actual human editor come in and uh, do the final tweaks to it, but the fact that Watson came in and was like, okay, this scene, this scene, this scene, this scene, and made a trailer out of it was really cool. The movie, however, reminds me of a Ex Machina in a way, but hopefully it offers something new from the previous AI films. Of course, we can't go very far without me mentioning how excited I am to see Sully, which comes out next Friday. 
I can't wait to see it and I will be reviewing that one once I see it. Well, that's everything I have for you guys this week. But before we go, I do want to reveal the answer to last week's quote of the week. And my aunt actually got it right. So great job, Aunt Sissy. The quote of the week last week came from the original King Kong film. However, it also makes an appearance again in the more recent King Kong film directed by Peter Jackson. I'm still wondering whether it'll show up in Kong Skull Island. However, I really doubt it considering I didn't see any footage of Kong coming to New York. We'll have to wait and see. For this week's quote, it comes from a more new film, so let's see if you can guess this one. But why is the rum gone? Let me know the answer and I'll announce the winner next time. Remember to follow me on Twitter at Ben's Real Review and be sure to subscribe to River Street Productions' YouTube channel and like them on Facebook for all the updates to the show. I want everyone to have a great Labor Day weekend and get out there and watch some movies.